All right, we're into a new section here now, Rock and Fiddle Challenge. Um, this is where the double shuffles start. Um, a measure 65, give or take. And it, the double shuffle is the easiest section in this whole piece. I know everyone's freaking out. <laughs> It's not as hard as it sounds. First you have to learn how to shuffle, and then you can double shuffle. So, um, there are two issues here. There's this issue, which is the right hand, and there's this issue, which is the left hand. The left hand is difficult because you have a bunch of chords, right? Well, we can fix that. You can practice it slowly, and you can practice the chords as quadruple stops. So, for instance, the chord in measure 65 is quite easy. It's a 1 on the A, it's a 3 on the E, two open strings, G and D, and it's this is... Right? And of course there's some movement coming up, but let's just practice the double shuffle on that quadruple stop. And what it is, is the double shuffle is a, an asymmetrical shuffle. The typical shuffle is... And that would be quite boring if we did it that way, right? So. The double shuffle is going to give us a lot more excitement, and it makes it a lot harder, too. So what we're doing is... Always one, two, hit. One, two, hit. Except it's on the opposite bow. So this is kind of a good double shuffle lesson, even if you uh, aren't participating in the Rock and Fiddle Challenge and you aren't playing The Sweet Child of Mine, the, the double shuffle needs to be accented on the note, the upper note that's changing. So... Now, as you know, anytime you have a pattern and then you change the pattern, that is when the important stuff happens. So. We're going so that's all the double shuffle, which is kind of cool, except at the same time the pattern is about to change again, right? And that's when this it comes out of the double shuffle, which in uh, regular everyday life is not so special, but since we just were shuffling, it is. All of a sudden, that's kind of use that to propel it into the next set of double shuffle notes. Now, if you look at my left hand, it's quite calm. The right hand is going like just haywire, right? So for measure 65, we have this, 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 Measure 66. This one is not so easy. We're going to take that first finger, we're going to move it over just a little bit, open up the E string, and then back to the, to the one on both the A and the E. All right, and then measure 67. Three, one, two, open. And then just to the D, A and E. And then a shift into third position for 68. Oh, I love this measure because it's so wild. Everyone loves this measure. Like, you a lot of energy packed into this measure. But the left hand, watch what the left hand does. Yeah, it, it's still doing it. It does nothing. It just gets there. And the bow goes... <laughs> And you get all that energy flowing forward using the left hand, um, just stable to just kind of hold down the fort, right? And all the while, while the right hand's going nuts, the left hand's stable, you can be thinking ahead to this next measure where you're going to shift down. This one... Not 
it's so hard. Again, the chords. If you can play those chords, you can do this, okay? If you can't play those chords, then work on playing the chords and you'll be able to do it. It won't be very hard. Um, this is the second line from the bottom of page two. Shift. And then this is a little tough. You're going into fourth position. Second finger. And then this fingering that I wrote in the part, it's up to you. I just go three, three. And then this is kind of a blues riff. I'll do that one more time. Extend. Bring it back. That takes us to the end of page two, but um, top of page three, uh, back to the double shuffle. The What's about to happen, though, is we're about to build into this new section, so uh, a lot of musical stuff happening. Again, the, the technique, if you have the double shuffle down and you understand your chords, it's not so challenging uh, once you have those two things, so uh, work towards that. Top of page three. <laughs> Right? So you're going... That's the end of the second line on page three. Now, we have uh, some more double shuffle stuff coming up. The, the tonality totally changes. Sorry. All right, so this is line four, and this is a tough line. Um, I threw that kind of triple figure in there. It's not a triplet. There's still 16th notes, but that triple figure where you're grouping them in threes. Um, I love taking uh, uh, expected figures, like 16th notes, which are and going It just makes for an uneven, uh, exciting uh, thing. here is it's a descent which is coming up next and the actual notes are not as important in fact I I play them differently all the time the the goal is to have this descent and the goal is to have the energy land at the bottom so you can bounce off it into that triplet ricochet so 